All right, now to your money. Yesterday, Stu spoke to Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin about high-frequency trading. Take a listen. I, I am completely. I think that with the advent of uh, computerized trading, which has such a big part of the market now, combined with the Volcker rule, where you can't have market makers commit capital, you just have much bigger moves in both directions. And I, I think clearly you have a situation here where the market has overreacted to the Fed's comments, and you see program trading taking over. Well, there you have it from the Secretary, uh, Finance Secretary, coming Kindy CEO Ryan Welsh. Ryan, you heard what Mr. Mnuchin had to say. Is it driving the market sell-off, these, these high-frequency trading, these computer programs, the algorithms, is that the problem for the volatility? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. Ab absolutely. I mean, look, you said it earlier in your show is these algorithms will look at a, look at a headline and yep. start selling. And if you see, see the, the third paragraph of the Fed statement, it said we're going to raise rates. Algorithms uh, uh, key in on the word raise and just start selling. They don't actually understand the context and the meaning of what the Fed was actually communicating to the markets. So I guess the easy fix is to fix the algorithms. But is it that easy? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not that easy. Look, look, all of the advancements that we've made in AI and machine learning have come around computer vision. It's mm. the natural language understanding or comprehension of language that is still uh, elusive to the, the, the field. Um, so first and foremost, as a field, we need to build better algorithms and kind of retake on the task of building better, better algorithms for natural language. Um, but right now, we're just, we're just not there yet. So uh, the Fed and even the Treasury uh, may actually think about how to, how to communicate with uh, these systems better. Well, you know, in this, we're such a high-tech world these days. It seems to me that that should be, not easy, but there should be the technology already to do that. Does your company do that? You're with Kindy, your CEO. Is that what your company does? No. no so, so we build systems that, that do understand natural language. So, so we okay. build explainable AI products for financial services, government, healthcare, and a number of other Fortune 500 industries. Well, that must be hard to do because we know that sometimes you can make a statement but you don't get the right context. That happens in, when people text each other. Sometimes it's misunderstood because the context isn't there. I don't know how you can build AI that will account for that. Yeah, well, well there's actually two, two fields of AI, and, and a lot of people are focused on machine learning, which is statistical machine learning, when there mm. was an entire field of AI called uh, knowledge representation and reasoning, kind of this symbolic artificial intelligence that dealt with semantics of language. And a lot of people have abandoned that, that side of, of AI. Um, whereas what we're seeing moving forward is, is the field of machine learning being combined with uh, semantics, knowledge representation, reasoning. And that side of AI deals with um, both the syntax of language, uh, uh, the uh, semantics of language, and the pragmatics of language, which speak to the context and understanding of, of meaning. Well, hopefully if we can get that, then the markets will can be, can keep a little more perspective as we watch these uh, big gyrations up and down. Ryan Welsh, thank you so much for joining us. CEO of Kindy out on the West Coast, I believe. That's thank you. The